everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with you. I am Cassia, and I am Gabriella, and we are in the second semester of the Radiology Technology course at the Federal University of Technology, Paraná. Today, under the guidance of Professor Cartier Proust in the Anatomy 2 course, we will be discussing a crucial topic, lupus disease. In this conversation, we will cover what lupus is, its symptoms, and the treatment options available. Our goal is to communicate this information in an accessible manner so that everyone can understand. We sincerely thank you for your presence and interest. We hope that what we share here will be informative and enlightening. Thank you, and let's get started. Lupus erythematosus, human anatomy. Contents, immune system, definition of lupus, signs and symptoms, diagnosis, types of lupus, clinical treatment, and care. I immune system. The immune system plays a hugely important role in maintaining our health. It works to protect our bodies against invaders such as viruses, bacteria, and other pathogens, being responsible for identifying, fighting, and eliminating these harmful agents, keeping us healthy and free from disease. Autoimmune diseases are those that originate when the immune system starts producing antibodies against components of the body itself. In other words, the body begins to see its own proteins as if they were invaders and starts attacking them. Definition of Lupus According to the Brazilian Society of Rheumatology, Lupus is an autoimmune, inflammatory, and chronic disease that can affect the skin, joints, kidneys, brain, and other parts of the body. The cause and cure of this disease are still unknown, but genetic, infectious, hormonal, and environmental factors are part of its development process. Among the more than 80 known autoimmune diseases, lupus is one of the most severe and significant. Currently in Brazil, about 65,000 citizens between the ages of 20 and 45 have lupus, the majority of whom are women. Approximately 35% of lupus patients have impaired kidney function. Lupus is more common in African American, Hispanic, and Asian individuals. Additionally, the incidence of lupus is three to four times higher in black women than in white women. May 10th is designated as Lupus Awareness Day, and its official symbol is a butterfly. Sings and Symptoms the most characteristic lesions are reddish lesions on the cheeks and bridge of the nose. However, they can affect other parts of the body as well. Skin lesions that appear or worsen when exposed to the sun. Joint pain, muscle stiffness and swelling, difficulty breathing, sun sensitivity, intense headache seizures, lupus psychosis, mental confusion, difficulty concentrating and memory loss, Raynaud's phenomenon, pulmonary changes, cough accompanied by blood diagnosis, physical examination, antibody tests, including anti-nuclear antibody tests, complete blood count, chest x-ray, renal biopsy, urinalysis, types of lupus discoid, lupus, limited to the skin, reddish lesions with specific sizes, shapes and colors are found on the skin, especially on the face, neck and or scalp, systemic lupus, 
This is the most common form, which can be mild or severe. In this form of the disease, inflammation occurs throughout the person's body, affecting various organs or systems in addition to the skin. Neonatal lupus rarely affects newborns of women who have lupus. Typically, at birth, the child may have skin rashes, liver problems, or low blood cell count, but these symptoms tend to naturally disappear after a few months. Drug-induced lupus. Certain drugs and or medications can cause inflammation with symptoms similar to systemic lupus. However, the disease in this case tends to disappear once the use of the substance ends. Clinical treatment. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. NSAIDs. For arthritis and pleurisy. Sunscreen for skin lesions. Anti-malarial drug low-dose corticosteroids for skin and arthritis symptoms. Biological therapy to modulate the immune system. Immunosuppressive medications to suppress the overactive immune system. Cytotoxic drugs as a last resort. Care provide emotional support for potential bodily changes. Keep the skin hydrated and protected from the sun. Maintain self-care, a healthy diet, and good hydration. In cases of hospitalization, avoid beds with direct sunlight exposure. Prevent possible complications. Apply appropriate dressings to lupus lesions emphasizes the importance of treatment references. We've reached the end of this video and we want to express our sincere gratitude to all of you for staying with us until the end. We greatly value your time and attention and we hope that the information and tips we've shared have been useful and inspiring. It's crucial to stay informed about pathologies that can arise in our daily lives. If you are concerned about any symptoms or signs related to this disease, we recommend that you talk to your doctor and keep your routine exams up to date. Once again, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.